Hey guys and girls, welcome back to a, another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. So here we are. We're going to make our first little game. And uh, it's going to be a little mini series, kind of one or two or three episodes or something. We'll just make something simple to start off with and just go through some basic stuff. So first of all, here is my includes. All right. This is what we're going to be using. So... Uh, we're not going to go through everything in this video, but eventually in this series we might go through all of this. Uh, maybe excluding network because it's not very nice in SFML, but we could use some other network libraries. Uh, so there you go, this is just empty main. What I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to I'm going to create a window just to see that all this stuff works. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do an SF window. Now, SF is the namespace, right? I'm assuming you do know C++ and stuff. And um, if you don't, if something's weird, you can ask me or just Google it or check out the C++ tutorials and SFML tutorials before gets, you get started. Um, otherwise, just try to, uh, try to you know, go with the flow. What we could do is we could do using namespace SF. And then we, would, we wouldn't need all this SF stuff, right? So, uh, but I'm going to use the SF stuff. I'm just going to comment this out for you guys. Uh, if you want to use this, then you don't have to have all the SF prefixes. But I'm, I'm going to do it like this because, yeah, I like uh, keeping it this way. Uh, SF window, I'm just going to call it window. Nothing special. And then I'm going to give it some, you know, uh, parameters, some arguments. So how do we create a window in SFML? It's basically going to be a window like this, right? Just any type of window. So obviously you need a size to the window. So I'm going to give it a SF video mode. Now, don't freak out too much. It's not that hard or complicated. This is just a fancy name for two integers stuck together, right? So I can make a little class called pair uh, with one integer and another integer and, and kind of like that. It has some more stuff. You can see what it has with height and uh, I think it's bits per pixel or something, something like that. Anyway, it's a very fancy word for those things, but it keeps track of sizes anyway, so integers. So all we're saying is I want a size of 640 and 480 so this is the width and the height and now we basically gave it the height and the width or the width and the height and that should be good now we want to give it a title so I'm just gonna say my first game whatever you want to do you can put it in there uh, and then it wants a style so now there is th different types of styles uh, and we're gonna get into those style default I'm just gonna say default okay and you just put that in there I don't even think you need this you can just not have anything if you wanna yeah you don't even need that but I'll put it in because I, I like to kind of define this now default what it's gonna do is gonna, it's gonna give you a window uh, with a title bar with all these buttons close and everything and it's also gonna let you resize and usually you don't want that to happen when you have a game right you don't want it resize and obviously Probably you're going to have it in full screen, but if you want the option for Windows, you don't want to be able to resize. Uh, if you do, you got to kind of learn more stuff. So what we're just going to do now is switch that up. So I'm going to say title bar here, SF style title bar. And this is kind of a cool thing. This is called a bit operator or something. I'm, I'm not sure, bitwise operator or something, but it lets you pass in two things. All right. So I'm going to pass in, and you can pass in more than two things, style close so what this is saying is also very seems very complicated but it's not basically i want a title bar with all the stuff like this whole bar and i want the close button so i can close the window so that's basically what i'm saying but this isn't saying that i want resizable and everything but what we could do sf style resize and that will give me the option to resize and you can see that full screen is here as well so if we want a full screen window we can do that from here anyway this is what i want and then what we need, one more thing, is something called an event. And I'm just going to call it EV, okay? And kind of the window is like a listener for events, right? It, it keeps track of stuff. It has a bunch of uh, callback functions called within itself um, in SFML, right? Uh, which kind of listen to these events. And if you press a button, if you do anything, kind of move your mouse, click the mouse button whatever is listening to those things and whenever it finds an event that happens like if I press the e key it will find the event that I press the e key 
and we can capture that event in one of these. So it's important to have these, all right? So just make it a habit to always use an event with the window like this. Now we're gonna do the game loop, all right? We're gonna start off with the game loop and this is just like window stuff, like whatever. Just make sure you comment your things as well. So the game loop is always basically in a while loop, right? But we can't have a while true here because we wanna be able to quit the game, okay? End of application. Okay, now just to make it simple, all we want to do here is window dot is open. So it's always checking in the while loop. Is the window still open? Is it still open? Has it been closed? And if it is closed in here, then obviously it's going to quit the while loop and just end the application. So uh, event uh, polling, I think it's polling. I think it's something like that. Uh, anyway, events here. So that's going to be in its own little while loop like that. And then we're going to have a switch case in here. And again, I know it might seem complicated. Hopefully it's not, but it, you know, you'll get, you'll get the hang of it. Just practice and you'll get the hang of it. So here, what we're saying is while window dot poll event means while we are getting events from the window, we want to save them into this event variable we created. So whenever the window gets an event, it's going to save it in here and then we can use it in the switch case. So we're just going to say ev dot type here. So each event's going to have a type. It might be a mouse click. It might be a keyboard thing. It might be anything. So this event variable will keep what type of event it was. Also, any data that comes with that, that might be important for us. So we can make a little case here. ev dot type. Oh, wait. Uh, you can do like this. sf uh, event. Why is that bugging out? Event with a big E. And then we can see what kind of event types there are. So you can see is my mouse moved, mouse left, mouse entered, key released, key pressed. All right, but what we're looking for is closed. So this is an event which is called uh, when, uh, uh, when you close the window using the close button. So when that happens, we want to close the window. So basically you're like, what? We're already closing it. Why would we have to close it? Well, it doesn't really work like that. When we click the close button, it sends an event uh, with the type closed, but it doesn't actually close the window. So we have to manually do that. We have to close the window when that event is called. So that's why you have this. Now we could have another case, SF, just as an example for a key press, SF event. So we're checking for the event called key key pressed okay so whenever a key is pressed we don't know which key we want this thing to happen within the switch case now we want to check which key as well if ev dot key dot code equals sf keyboard escape now anytime you do try to access this uh, enumeration here it keeps track of all the keys and has their unique ids in it so you can always call sf keyboard and find the keys uh, if you want to compare it with something. So if it is escape, then we want to do window close. So we want to be able to close our window using escape and using the uh, the escape key and using the actual close button. So this is a big event polling while loop here. Okay. And then we're going to do some two more things that are always important in a game. So you want to pull the events, then you want to update your game, and then you want to render the game. So that's how each frame works. This is one frame in the loop, right? And the next frame we're going to update again. The character moves a little bit and then we're going to render the new position. So that's how it works. That's why we have frames. Update something and then draws it onto a blank sheet and just prints that out on the screen. So there you go. I said that like five times. Uh, but we have nothing to really update in this one. Uh, what we can do is just clear our window. Okay window dot uh, what was it uh, da, 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 da. draw oh wait I think I messed up I think it's supposed to be a render window so basically it's not just a window it's a render window which we can render upon okay so we'll talk more about that later I kind of forgot that window dot clear now we got the clear function see 
you clear it you can give it a special color in here which we will do window dot display so just to explain this uh, clear old frame uh, tell um, app that window is done drawing so that's basically what these two do and here you draw your game between these two things you always draw your game okay so you want to clear the old frame make it blank draw the new stuff and then tell the game that it's the window is done drawing and it will kind of render that new frame onto the screen so those things are very important just try to remember that so if we just run this now hopefully it will run and not crash um, okay so we got our first game window up here and you can click these things you can't resize if you try to resize you got the title and it's black and you can just close it and it closes now we're gonna clear it with a SF color and then you have these quick colors here so I don't know what I want to clear it with what you guys want you want blue let's try out blue so you can try all those other colors out if you want a specific color SF color you can kinda give it 255 255 255 is white okay and this is the alpha channel how transparent it is you can change this red green blue how much you want it goes from 0 to 255 okay so you can play around with that if you want uh, if you get bored waiting for the other video but here you go I just want to clear it with a blue color you don't have to care about this you can just keep it black or white it doesn't really matter but now it will clear it with a blue color if you want that and you can kind of play with that and get the, get your window out so in the next video we're gonna make our game class and we're gonna go from there trying to make a little game alright hopefully this was cool if you have any questions let me know uh, also drop a like subscribe if you did like the content and if you're looking forward to more stuff uh, so there you go check out the description box as well take care I'll see you guys and girls in the next one right bye bye